Replacing the socket on a table lamp is a pretty easy do-it-yourself project and for an antique lamp or if you have an older lamp the cord over time can become brittle and become a shock and fire hazard so we're going to cover the steps on how to replace not only the socket but the cord and the plug also. Okay the first step is to unplug the lamp and remove the light bulb and the harp that holds the shade in most cases you're going to have two small caps that slide up and then you just squeeze the harp together and remove it and the next step is to remove the outer shell of the socket itself. We're going to press hard and we're going to twist it out. In some cases if you have an older lamp you're going to have to use maybe a, a small slotted screwdriver to lift it a little bit but the outer shell comes off and this is going to expose the wires and we're going to remove those next. Okay so we're just loosening the two screws on the socket and we're just going to remove the wires like this and this old socket doesn't have a set screw on the bottom so we're just going to unscrew it and lift it off and now we have access to the old cord and in this old lamp it has such an intricate tube here I'm going to use a trick to pull up the new cord um, if you have a, a lamp that looks like it would be easy to push it up, right now you could just pull out the old cord. But we're going to go to the next step now in case you have something that's a little more difficult to push a cord up through. Okay, I'm going to put a knot in this. Now there should have been an underwriter's knot already tied to this. And what I'm going to do, just so I don't accidentally pull the old cord through while I'm working on it, I'm going to tie a knot on the top and I'm going to lay the lamp over and almost every lamp is going to have some type of felt bottom and you're just going to work it from the edge and peel it away and this will give us access to the cord inside and so the next step just so I can pull the new cord through is we're going to cut this and strip it and attach the new cord to it. All right, I'm going to give myself uh, about a foot to work with and I'm just going to cut the bottom and I'm going to strip this wire up a little bit. I'm going to separate the two strands, pull them apart, and then I'm going to use wire cutters. And this is an 18 gauge wire, so I just put it in where it says 18 and it's going to strip away the insulation. And I'm going to do this on both sides. And then I'm going to do the same thing on my new lamp cord. Now on the new lamp cord, I want to make sure I cut it about three quarters of an inch. And again, I'm using an 18 gauge wire. And this is real typical for lamp wire. And you're going to want to grab 18 gauge for most lamps because that's what's going to fit into the lamp. All right, now I'm just going to twist the old lamp cord together each individual strand and then we're just going to tape this up with a little piece of electrical tape and what this is going to allow us to do is pull the new cord up through this antique lamp because of the odd shape it has and you want to make sure when you put this together that you don't use too much tape because this has to pass through that small tube but of course you want enough so that it doesn't come apart so we're going to put it together like that and now we're going to grab the top and we're going to pull this right up to the top And that's a nice little trick for lamps that you think you might struggle putting the new cord and pushing it up through it. Okay, on the new cord that's sticking out of the lamp, we're going to separate the individual strands about three or four inches down, and we're going to twist the individual copper wires together so there's nothing sticking out that could be a shock hazard. And we're going to put the base of the new socket onto the lamp and we're going to twist it down and this one has a set screw so I'll tighten that down with a screwdriver and 
so we'll just tighten it there and just give it just snug it up you don't have to over tighten it because it's a soft metal and the next step we're going to create an underwriter's knot all right you need an underwriter's knot in every lamp so that if the cord were kicked or pulled it's not going to allow the cords to be pulled away from the bottom of the socket which could cause a shock hazard to tie an underwriter's knot we're going to take one side and we're going to pass we're going to loop it and pass it behind the cord we're going to take the other side pass it under and in front and through the loop and we're going to pull it snug and that's an underwriter's knot for a lamp now to connect the new socket, you have a screw that's brass and a screw that's silver. And it's important that we get the right strand to the right screw. So you're going to have one side that's perfectly smooth, and the smooth side is going to go to the brass. That's your hot side. The neutral side, going to the silver, is ribbed. So I'm going to put a little bend in each of the sides here, and we're going to screw it down. Okay, you're going to want to put a clockwise loop onto the wire and loop it around the screw completely and then you're going to want to turn this clockwise. If you were to wrap that counterclockwise it would actually push the wire off the screw. So we'll just get these two wires hooked up, wrap it clockwise, tighten it up, now we're ready to move on to the next step. Okay, now that we've got the socket connected I'm going to pull the cord from the bottom and snug it up and we're going to put the outer shell on. Now the outer shell has a cardboard insert and you need to make sure that this is in there. This is what protects you against getting a shock. It covers the wires inside. So make sure that's lined up and we just slip it over and we're going to give it just a little push and you can hear it snap in. Sometimes you need to give it a little twist. Alright, now that we have the socket on we're going to pass the lamp cord through the bottom of the lamp and off to the side. In some lamps, if it has real sharp edges, you might want to put a rubber grommet on this hole that will keep the cord from getting cut. And I have a plug that's self-piercing. This is really a, an easy way to add a plug to a lamp. And the first step is going to be uh, take it apart and we're going to push the body of the socket up onto the cord first. So on the main part of the plug we've got two blades. One is narrow and one is wider. The narrow part needs to be connected to the smooth side of the wire and that's the hot side. The wide side is going to be our neutral and we want to make sure it's polarized so that when you shut off the lamp it's not going to be a shock hazard. Alright so we just slide the cord in and we squeeze the blades together and they pierce the wire. So it's really a, an easy way to connect a cord to a lamp. And then we just slip it in and snap it in place and it's that easy to replace the plug on a lamp. 